Hello, my name is Toby from Art Master Studio and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint orange. Uh, I'm using a North Star Sohei Warrior Monk for this. Um, so we'll get straight to it. He's been undercoated, the orange has been undercoated with uh, Vallejo Red Leather. So um, this is going to be quite a PAL orange. Um, so I've gone for quite a light base coat with this. Uh, this covers quite nicely, I only had to give it one one uh, coat. Um, usually with uh, oranges and yellows you have to give two coats to make sure you cover the black correctly. So I've just uh, put a little bit in my palette there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, Vallejo light orange. Now this is significantly lighter so I'm not going to highlight straight over it with this. I'm actually going to mix this in with this colour here. Um, also another reason for doing this is that I don't want it to be too neon whereas this is quite a neon orange. As I say it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more of a pastel orange than anything. So roughly a 50-50 mix there, just going to take my worn out brush and put a tiny bit of water in it because light orange uh, is actually quite a thin Vallejo paint. So we want to mix it until we feel we've got enough contrast. And then we're going to test it to make sure the contrast uh, is enough uh, to show up on the figure. So I'm just taking a small brush and I'm going to start highlighting. Uh, I think the contrast is quite nice, it's not too much and it's not too little. Uh, if you want a more smooth transition go for uh, less contrast between your layers but you will need to have more layers um, so uh, if you want to spend a bit longer on your figures then I guess that would be the way to go uh, a good tip for um, undercoating yellows and oranges is actually starting off with a brown undercoat rather than a black undercoat um, something like dark rust or burnt umber would uh, work quite nicely uh, for you to put your first layer of orange over uh, you would have to almost completely cover those colors like you would the black but it would just make it easier to cover it in one go rather than having to put several uh, several layers of your first colour on. If you haven't already seen the how to paint yellow tutorial please check that out. Um, in the, the how to paint yellow and how to paint orange videos uh, I'm basically only covering the colours that I want to achieve on the Sohei Warrior Monks. Um, obviously there are different variations of yellow and orange, um, which I might cover in a, a separate tutorial later on. <clears throat> but for now we're just going for these quite pal, uh, pastel y colours. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below. I always try to get back to uh, answering the questions as soon as possible. Or if you have any uh, thoughts of your own on 
how to paint yellow and orange please leave them below also remember to highlight underneath in between the legs uh, where the orange is showing as well it might not look that important but um, it is good to give a little bit of highlight there don't go all the way with the second and third highlight though um, because obviously they're going to be in shadow themselves okay so now I'm just going to wash my brushes just using plain water for that Uh, so now I'm going to dry the orange off, um, so you have to excuse me a minute whilst I use my hair dryer. Okay, so now that that's dried off, I'm just going to put it to one side, let him cool down for a minute. Whilst he's cooling down, I'm going to take some Vallejo Off-White, and I'm going to add this into my uh, mixture here. And this is where it's going to get more pastely than orange, uh, like a true orange. Uh, don't need to add too much, so be very careful about how much you put in. And then we'll get our mixing brush, a little bit more water. And as you can see, it's kind of gone a peachy colour, almost like a flesh colour, um, which is what we want to go for. Um, if it looks too uh, too light, if there's going to be too much contrast then just darken it down um, by adding some of the original colours in uh, I'm just going to test it on there like that uh, I think that's okay I'll give it a, a proper highlight actually just to just to be sure get my good brush yeah I think that's okay if it's too too peachy for you then uh, add a bit more of the orange colour in the uh, light orange Uh, but something I found is that if you're painting any kind of orange really, unless it's more of a a red orange like scarlet um, or an orange red, it's uh, it's not always a good idea to start from a red base coat. Uh, I think more leaning more towards browns um, and orangey browns is the best way to go for uh, undercoating your orange So as I said before, don't undercoat between the legs. I'm going to leave that in shadow. All right, so now we're ready for the final highlight. We don't need to dry that off because that was quite a thin colour anyway and the warmth of the figure after hair drying it has cooled it um, fairly quickly anyway 
has made it dry quicker. Okay, so adding a little bit more off-white for the final highlights. Now it doesn't really matter how extreme we go here, it doesn't matter how much contrast there is because we're not going to be using too much on the actual figure. <clears throat> so we're just going to take a little bit of this colour, just put it on where we want the extreme highlights to show. So using it sparingly, I think we might even go a, a shade lighter than this, just to make sure there's areas that really catch our eye. Always remember to add a little bit of water in with your mix every time you add paint to it because uh, it's just going to get thicker and thicker the more um, paint that you add to it. You have to sort of have a good balance of adding water and paint at the same time when mixing. So as you can see this is just really the final bits where the light is going to be drawing your eye. Okay, and there we have the finished figure. Um, probably not that orange, more uh, like I said, more of a pastel orange than anything. Um, if you uh, have any comments or questions, as I said before, leave them in the comment section below, and I will try and get back to you. Uh, we are a painting service, so if you want to commission us to do something like this, please send us an email at artmasterstudio at hotmail.co.uk. Check out our Facebook page, the link to that will be in the description of the video. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.